Yes, good morning, Peekaboo. Good morning, good morning. I'm really excited to see you all again. Um, I've got another little weekly vlog in store for you guys. I'm really enjoying bringing you along with me for my journey. And um, if you haven't already seen the last couple of vlogs we've done, then please do head to my channel and check them out and subscribe for some more. But it's Monday morning. We've got my morning meeting to get to. So we're gonna rush to Marlebone now. I have a big office search uh, for a family office, eight to 10,000 square feet. So we're looking at Kensington, um, Knightsbridge and Marlebone and then also, also Mayfair, like just in case. Maybe. 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 Okay. We are quickly going to view this flat. It, I think, is on the fourth floor of um, this building here on Queensgate. You've got the park literally like less than a minute's walk that way. And then you go down to South Kensington. So a great location, if maybe slightly a busy road. Um, but this is a rental for one of my clients, hopefully. So let's see. Okay, so the viewing went well, and now we are in Kensington, and I'm just gonna grab a quick coffee at my favorite coffee spot before we have another meeting, which is quite exciting. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I will take you along and let's see. Um, please, could I get an iced Americano? Okay, so got my morning coffee, essential. And now we are headed to Belgravia to meet Marie and Sophie from Club 19. Um, and we're having a little meeting to discuss how we can work together. So one of the things that's really important in real estate and in my job as like a luxury real estate advisor is reaching out to new potential clients and kind of collaborating with not just other real estate agents, which is obviously very important, but also different kinds of businesses. And we wanna talk about how we can maybe create an event or some kind of a partnership um, together where we are marketing their business to our clients because I have a lot of clients who would find that very interesting and equally they are marketing us as trusted advisors in the real estate space for their clients and so yeah just thinking outside of the box and finding new ways to collaborate is super important because the game is becoming more and more competitive so you've got to stay current and um, who doesn't love fashion and jewelry? Okay, so just made a very quick pit stop at home for a bite to eat and I've got a few emails I need to reply to. I feel like when I'm out on viewing tours all day or running between different appointments and meetings, it's really hard for me to find time to just sit down and get through my admin. So I tend to end up always doing it in the evening for the next day, um, but I had an hour, so I thought I would just have a quick lunch break, try to get through everything, and then we're gonna head out again. So I have a couple of little errands to run and I'm gonna drop Peekaboo off with her dad. After that, we're gonna go view a flat on behalf of a client of mine. And then we have an event for the Mayfair Times at the Dorchester to celebrate the launch of their new India edition. I 
I'm not sure if the sun has just gone in or if it's actually already starting to get dark, which is so depressing because it's not even 6 p.m. yet. Can't think about it. Um, but we're on Mockham Street now, so just around the corner from Stone Street and Stone Square. And then if you walk that way, you head into Mayfair. Um, and I really like this street because you've got a lot of cute little independent restaurants, cafes, this wonderful pub behind me as well. And on the corner of Mockham and Wilton Crescent is a beautiful apartment that we're going to go and preview now. I've already actually previewed this flat on behalf of my client, but because she lives abroad um, and we've now submitted a formal offer, I thought it would be a good idea just to go meet the agent again um, and take another look around just to see if there's anything we missed and also to get a little bit of an update regarding her offer and try to use my persuasion tactics to get this over the line. So let's go and check it out now and uh, hopefully you can meet the other agent as well. As I mentioned earlier, the event tonight is for the Mayfair Times to celebrate the launch of their new India issue. And it's gonna be at the Dorchester, which is just behind me, in collaboration with Vista Village and also with Sotheby's International Realty. So there should be a really interesting mix of people. Everybody from luxury real estate advisors to entrepreneurs and business people who operate or live in Mayfair. Um, so just a really nice networking opportunity and I'm very much looking forward to it. Good morning. Today, it's Tuesday, happy Tuesday, and we are in Mount Street Gardens, which is just behind Mount Street and around the corner from Barclay Square in Mayfair. And it's like this cute little miniature park, which I really like. Um, a lot of people who work in the area will come here on their lunch break. Um, it's a nice little bit of greenery in the midst of Mayfair. Anyway, I've just grabbed my morning coffee from the farm shop and first things first, we are gonna down this and then we're gonna head into Barclay Square because today is Pad Day. Now, Pad is an art and design fair that happens this week in Barclay Square. And in general, actually, I forgot to tell you, but it's Freeze Week here in London. So close by in Regent's Park, there's Freeze and Freeze Masters, which are opening tomorrow for their preview. And I just given away what we're doing tomorrow, but we will be going there. Oh, hey baby. Today, we're gonna check out some design. And uh, as I said, it's just around the corner. So let's get going. So welcome to PAD. We are now on Barclay Square and this design fair pops up here for one week each October. It was founded in 2007 by a fourth generation French dealer called Perrin and it's the sister fair to the Parisian art fair that launches in the spring each year in the Tuileries Gardens and was started in 1988. Really exciting but next year they're also going to have a pad in Saint-Tropez in the summer and I think that's going to be fantastic. 
So PAD is essentially a celebration of 20th century and contemporary design. And it's the only art fair or design fair in the UK that exclusively represents contemporary and 20th century design. It really celebrates eclecticism, connoisseurship, and there's a real kind of interesting mix of different designers and artists on display here, shown by a selection of galleries, some of the best galleries from all around the world. Daniel, who is our CEO, is expecting a little baby boy in, I believe, just a couple of weeks now, and I haven't got him a baby shower gift yet. So this is for him and his partner. Um, it's just a little something, but Daniel is such a fantastic person to have running this business and at the helm of everything that we're doing. And I just know he's gonna make such an amazing dad. So I'm gonna leave this here for him. I'm really awkward and like nervous about giving gifts, but hopefully, I think I signed it. Anyway, it'll be a nice little surprise. Um, but now we have to rush because we have a lot to do today. So we did have two viewings lined up today, um, but unfortunately one of the properties is already under offer. So that one, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. And the other one is currently tenanted. So we need to give them a little bit more notice. Um, they didn't want us going around today, which is fair enough. Um, so just done a little bit of admin. And now we are heading to Regent's Park because as you know, it's freeze week and today is the first day, I think, of freeze. So we're gonna go and check out the preview. There's always, usually it's some good stuff. Um, and just quite a nice way to spend a Wednesday afternoon. We have a lot of clients who are in town this week because of freeze and there are a lot of events going on. And to be honest, yesterday I was um, exhausted so I didn't end up making it out. Uh, to the event I was supposed to go to. Um, but yeah, it's just generally a busy, busy week. And uh, I'm excited. <laughs> That's all. Welcome to Freeze. As I mentioned, we are in Regent's Park and this huge art fair pops up here for a week each October. There's a sister fair which is called Freeze Masters as well and we're gonna head over there tomorrow because it's quite a lot to digest. So I thought, you know, one fair per day is more than enough. It's honestly mayhem in here. There are over 160 galleries exhibiting and right now I'm stood in front of David's Werner Gallery, um, which is an international gallery. You've got gallerists and curators, as well as buyers traveling to London for this week from all over the world. So it's a real interesting mix. And obviously everybody's here for the art, but I have to say it's a bit of a fashion show as well. There are some pretty interesting and unusual outfits and everybody seems to have put their 
kind of funkiest outfits on. Um, maybe not to detract from the art, but just to add to it. It's a really, really good atmosphere. And honestly, I love it. And they always, always bump into some friendly faces. So I'm gonna ask a few questions as well and see um, what people are enjoying. But I thought it would be fun to take you along and give you a little bit of a sneak preview because today is preview day. Um, so let's go and check out some art, shall we? I feel like my social battery is drained, but I really enjoyed that. And now I'm going to head back. I've got a bit more work to do and a couple of clients to call this afternoon. See you in a bit. Well, good morning, good morning. Um, so it was a very fun afternoon of admin for me yesterday. And by the evening, I was just completely exhausted. My social battery was drained and I crashed out on the sofa completely and had a nap with my puppy and fell asleep. So not very exciting evening. Um, but today I have woken up with a fresh zest of life, if that's the expression. Um, and I'm so excited because today we're actually going to my favorite place. I prefer it to freeze, but don't tell anyone that. Um, we're going to Freeze Masters, which is the modern and kind of 20th century. Like they have actually everything from old masters to up to kind of modern 20th century art. Um, so obviously what we saw yesterday was more contemporary living artists. And this is more of a range throughout history. And they have sculptures and just lots of different things. Anyway, you're gonna see, you're gonna love it. I've just had my morning coffee. Before that, I actually also had a viewing this morning here in Belgravia with a client of mine from the US who's just flown in from Copenhagen. We have an offer agreed um, on a flat here. It's a beautiful, beautiful apartment. It's the one you came to see with me. Um, and she just had to obviously come, give it a once over, check that she likes it. I think she really liked it. So we have a couple of questions now for the landlord and then hopefully we'll get that agreed. Um, but it's about to start raining. So let's head to Freeze Masters. So welcome to Freeze Masters. This is personally my favorite fair. I think joint favorite with Pad, but it's the sister fair to Freeze. It's also in Regent's Park, but the difference with this fair is that it focuses on thousands of years of art. So it's a completely broad range, all the way from the ancient era and old masters to late 20th century works. And that's where it kind of stops and then Freeze takes over. It has a much more calm and tranquil atmosphere in here. I have to say this is far more relaxing and I just love it. There's such a wide variety of works and everything from sculpture to painting, all sorts of things in between. Um, but I'm really excited to take you around day three in our little art exploration. So let's start exploring. Quick viewing. <laughs> okay, so we're back in Holland Park and the sun has come out. It's beautiful. Um, we're going to view an, a house, I think. Should know what we're seeing. A house um, that's available for rent for a couple of clients who may potentially be interested. But I've never been here before, so I'm quite excited to see what it looks like inside. Thank you. 
what a day it has been and we're only about halfway through because this evening we have this event at Tasaki Jewelry which I'm very excited for. I'm actually really looking forward to exploring a bit more about the brand. I don't know too much about it. Then I have a friend's birthday um, and then we're going for dinner and drinks later so it's going to be a long evening um, but I haven't quite made it out out this freeze week so it's time to let my hair down and have a little bit of fun. Happy Friday. It is such a beautiful Friday. It's a bluebird day today. And we're back in Regent's Park because I'm gonna do a little reel today about the sculpture garden, which I feel gets overlooked a little bit. Everybody gets very caught up in freeze and freeze masters and then maybe people don't even know that the sculpture garden exists, but it's really special and really fun. So we're gonna do that. And then after that, we have some viewings lined up. Um, what else? It's basically a day of viewings catching up with a few people and trying to tie a few things up. I've got some live offers at the moment that I want to get sorted before the end of the day. And then it's going to be the weekend. have a really lovely weekend and if you enjoyed this video then before you go please don't forget to click that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything but it really means the world to me and will enable me to keep bringing you lots of new content both about luxury real estate general goings on in London and if you enjoy following along with my life then there'll be more of that too see you very soon bye